Between 1986 and 1987, Malaysia was shocked when 18 women fell victim to being drugged and raped, with five of them murdered. Today, we're going to look into Malaysia's very own killer Casanova, Li Chao Ming, and how he became Malaysia's most notorious serial rapist. It all began in 1985 when Li Chao Ming fell in love with a girl named Tiong Hua. As the relationship grew, Chao Ming later moved in with Tiong Hua, but the relationship didn't last long because of his playboy behavior. Heartbroken and angry, he began plotting his revenge. His plan? To pick up girls and use them for his sexual needs. He would look for his victims in newspaper ads, targeting florists, tuition teachers, or insurance agents as their phone numbers were already stated in the ads. He would bring them to a fast food restaurant where he would drug their drinks before suggesting to go elsewhere. Once drugged, the victims would do anything that Chao Ming said. He would force his victims to sign over their valuables and money before raping them. <coughs> to ensure his secret was safe, he used many aliases and never hesitated to kill to keep his tracks clean. Since then, the police have been on the hunt for Chao Ming, posting over 40,000 wanted posters of him all over the country. Police even offered a 50,000 ringgit reward to anyone who managed to catch him. On August 28, 1997, Li Chao Ming threatened to release nude pictures of the victim if she didn't pay him 10,000 ringgit. She later made a police report regarding the threat, and soon after, he was caught. He was sentenced to death but had to serve 15 years in jail because of multiple offenses. On March 30th in 2001, Chao Ming was rushed to Hospital Taiping and was pronounced dead from pneumonia. As his final request, he asked to be cremated with two of his favorite sex manuals placed in his coffin. And so goes the story of Malaysia's most notorious serial rapist. Are you a fan of digging up stories of Malaysia's underworld? Like, share, and subscribe to our videos, and let us know which mystery you'd like us to dig up next.